Okay. Hey guys, so um, I was uh, requested by uh, one of the, my new viewers to do a breakdown on um, my GoPro settings. She's looking to get a GoPro Session 5, that's what I use, and she was curious what uh, what settings I use and how I've got that all set up. So I told her I would do a video on that. That's the easiest way to do it, I think, instead of trying to reply to a comment. So I'll break this down. Um, video resolution I use is 2.7K and I do 30 frames a second. Um, I know some people like 60, but you can't do 60 at 2.7K, you can do 60 at uh, lower resolutions. Um, but even if you could do 60 at 2.7K, I uh, still like 30 better. It feels more natural to me. 60 just doesn't feel natural. It feels kind of weird. Um, and the, the footage just looks kind of odd to me. It's not, um, it's not a cinematic. I like that, I like that cinematic feel. You know, even if it's like really snappy, you know, um, real fast footage. I like the 30 frames a second. It's still better to me. Um, so I do uh, super view for my field of view. Uh, I know some people don't do it that wide or they don't like it that wide. I really like super view. It gives me a feeling when I'm watching the video back, um, it's more in line with what it looks like when I'm flying through the goggles. So that view feels more natural to me. The speed feels more natural to me. Um, everything just feels better. It's got a little bit of distortion there and different things, but I kind of like it. So that's why I use So 2.7K, 30 frames a second, super view. Um, turn video stabilization off. That will cause all kinds of weird jello effects, which is kind of the waviness in your video. You want to do that. Um, I've got spot meter off. I have pro tune turned on, and I have white balance set to negative. Now, pro, you have a choice there on your um, pro tune. You can turn it on and off. Um, if you turn it on, it definitely helps when um, you set your color to flat. That's also what I have set in the white balance to native. You can do much better editing later, much more control over the colors, over everything. It's about as close as you can get to what would be like shooting in raw with you know a DSLR. It's about as close as you're going to get to be able to do that to be able to tweak um, a lot of your exposure and all that kind of stuff much easier than if you let the camera do a bunch of the setting. Now with white balance, the reason I go with native instead of auto is you get all kinds of weird switches depending on you know shadows and all that kind of stuff. Um, you get much more consistent um, color if you and your white balance is much more consistent if you uh, if you use native. Now you can choose one of the others. There's um, just don't do auto. You, know, you can do 3000K, 5000K, 6000K if you like you know different. If you like your, your video to be a little warmer and more cooler, you can pick one of those. But I kind of like the one just the most control native. Um, shutter set to auto, ISO limit set to 400, um, EV comp is zero, sharpness is low, and that is everything. That's all the settings right there. Now, um, so I want to go over why I do this. So I do that so I can have as much control as possible with. The video, and I want to kind of show you what that looks like. I'm going to sit here playing with some uh, clips from today. Let's see if I can get this to... Okay, so the first clip here is um, exactly as it comes out of the GoPro. So you can see the color is really flat, um, the, uh, the contrast, everything is really flat. Um, not a lot of color there. Doesn't look like there's a lot of color there. Um, it's just really plain. But because of this, it gives you a lot of control to take this and make the the color kind of whatever you want to be. So we're going to kind of watch this here for just a second, so you can get a feel of what it looks like. You know, this is native out of the camera. I haven't changed anything. And then the next clip is going to be. Um, some color adjustments that's more natural, I guess you could say. Um, and then we'll go through a couple other ones that, that you do some kind of funky stuff. So let's go here to the next one. Now you can see this color here looks a little more natural. Um, it's got a little bit of a warmer tone to it, but not too much. 
but you can see you've got all the color looks nice everything looks fairly realistic you know no uh, no really weird coloring there fairly natural there um, so that lets you see you can you can make it look however you want so we'll watch the rest of this clip here and then you'll see two other clips I want to show you with what it looks like when you kind of do some other funky stuff with it you can kind of give the video a whole different feel whenever you change the color around and this is why I like it I, it gives me the ability to do this now if you're in one who doesn't like to do that you like just to kind of take your video then you probably don't want to use flat and native all right so here is uh here's another one this has kind of got a uh, almost uh, dusk nighttime feel to it and this is the exact same clip you know and all I'm doing is messing with the color exposure all that kind of stuff um, I'm using Final Cut Pro you can use whatever you know video editor you want you should be able to do a lot of that um, hit film express works really well um, DaVinci works really well there's you know a couple different free ones there those are both free you know they do a really good job I like Final Cut um, because performance wise works really well on my Mac. I used HitFilm for a while and it was pretty nice, but um, performance is just not there, you know, for, for my Mac. Works great on my son's PC. He's got a nice beefy gaming PC. <laughs> so there's there's one, one take, and then we're going to look at one more here. The uh, last one here, now you can see this got kind of a I kind of like this color probably the best the sky looks really cool and everything else looks fairly natural but it kind of gives the sky kind of this really weird eerie kind of a look with the kind of bluish purplish color there I really like that that looks cool so that's just kind of give you a feel for all the different ways that you can um, you can do your video whenever you use ProTune, Flat, Native White Balance. You can really get in there and you can do all kinds of stuff. It gives you a lot more control over it by doing that. But like I said, if you're not one who likes to tinker with color, um, because you're going to have to if you want it to look halfway decent, if you record this way, if you're not one who likes to do that, then you probably don't want to use ProTune and Flat and the the native white balance let me flip this back over to me now so um if you want if you want to do that and you don't want to have to do a bunch of editing then um, i would choose probably i would probably still choose flat but um i would probably choose one of the other white balances probably um you know whichever way you like if you like it cooler or warmer pick one of those and you could you could do auto, but just remember that it's going to have it's got its drawbacks. Um, so that's kind of up to you. I would I would choose one of the the fixed ones there and choose flat, and then you can kind of just tweak your contrast and your saturation a little bit, and you should have a nice nice looking video with the color looking you know pretty good. Um, and if you're really lazy and you really don't want to do any of that, just use GoPro Color, you know. But for me, I like to tinker. Gives me the best uh, best control, best results. So there you go. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe you learned a little bit and you can see a little bit of uh, kind of how I work. So you guys have a great day. Never stop flying.